Hi everyone, I'm Gerard uh, from Learn to Hack and Code and welcome. As a senior cybersecurity engineer, I used to lead many security teams over the years. And uh, recently at CompTIA, I helped secure apps used by millions of users around the world. I've built and secured many WordPress websites, and I've also penetration tested them as well. So I know exactly where the weak spots are. And in this video, I'm going to show you five of the most common WordPress security mistakes and how to fix them in just a few minutes. So let's jump in. Let's start with the biggest one, not updating outdated plugins and WordPress core are like basically an open door for hackers. So you want to go to your dashboard. All right. And after the dashboard, we want to go to updates. Okay. And then make sure everything is up to date weekly if, if possible. Okay. So you have here, it says current version 6.8. Uh, Want to help my blah, blah, blah. And uh, basically, you can check again. All right. Uh, you can see over here, last checked on May 27th. Uh, you have the latest version of WordPress. You're going to see situations where this may tell a different story and it's going to be outdated. So you definitely do want to update that. All right. Now over here, you can see these plugins here just happen to be all up to date. Themes, your themes are all up to date. So come here first to just get an idea of where you are at. All right. Now we're going to go over mistake. Number two, if your username is still something like admin and your password is weak, that is very bad news. Again, simple things to just think about, but they happen. Always use strong, unique passwords and install a free plugin like WP2FA to protect your login. So why don't we go ahead and um, go to our uh, plugins and why don't we go ahead and just put that 2FA plugin. Let's get that going. All right, so just to kind of direct you but not get too sidetracked, uh, go to your plugins page, search for WP2FA and here you are. It's well worth it. Install this. And that is going to absolutely help. And then let's go ahead and get to the third one on my list. What we're going to do is uh... All right, so what you want to do here is you want to then go ahead and just activate this. <clears throat> and basically what this is going to uh, do is it's going to allow you to have the two-factor um, authentication method, which is, again, going to increase your security. Okay. I don't want to get too in depth here, but it's pretty self explanatory. The end result is going to be a redirect of your user after 2FA setup, which you can go ahead and designate here. Um, that's also very helpful. You can also hide the remove 2FA uh, buttons as well. So uh, that's if uh, the users are allowed to disable 2FA from their user profile. And um, 
there is a premium over here, as you can see. Um, you know, that's up to you. But this is a free plugin that is very helpful. I'm not going to go over all of them, but uh, another one I do want to mention is Word Fence. There is a free version, there was a paid version. Um, so keep that in mind and maybe, you know, do some research after this video on word fence. I strongly recommend, um, one of these, if not both of them to really help improve your security. Now, why don't we go ahead and just get to the, uh, next mistake. All right. We're going to say mistake number three, too many plugins and that's the reason why i wanted to also keep this this is going to be uninstalled and um i am not using this this was um an lms theme this is not going to be used the next time we log in here this will be deleted but um i wanted to just keep everything here just to kind of show you how many plugins that are here and there is a substantial amount i mean we have 29 26 are active three are inactive um, but when you're dealing with a lot of plugins just make sure that you need them for example you download a plugin and then for some reason you are not using it uh, because it just didn't meet your goals and your needs for the particular design of that, of that website, but yet you still keep it here. No, just get rid of it. It's the best thing to do. You want to get rid of some of these that you know you're not using just to, to clear it up. So remember, too many or sketchy plugins. So you only use plugins from trusted developers with regular updates. Um, if something hasn't been updated in like, let's say six months, get rid of it, all right? So um, I'll give you another example. Let's say you're purchasing a theme from something like Theme Forest you log in to theme forest and you're like, Oh, well, this is a $20. Uh, it's a really nice theme. I'm interested. And then you look at it and maybe it was designed in 2019. Uh, last update was 2020. No, you don't want to download that. Okay. Everything needs to be updated. You want it to be recent. You're better off paying double the price of good WordPress theme. If that's your goal, you're trying to find a theme for your website, pay double the price, knowing that it is a theme that's been updated, you know, check for the reviews. Um, a lot of people get in situations where they have outdated themes that are, are just have security flaws and they don't even get updated. So then you have to basically get rid of the theme. So, just very important. Keep that in mind. So that's going to be uh, mistake number three. Mistake number four, no security plugin installed. So basically, every WordPress site should have at least one security plugin. And, and I, I, as I said before, I was talking about the WordPress and then you have the um, you know, the 2FA that I showed you as well. Another one I want to uh, give to you is iTheme Security. Even the free versions give you uh, firewall protection and, and login alerts. Um, so, you know, why don't we go ahead and um, might as well just go through the process of, uh, of let's, let's get the, uh, the word friend. I don't have word fence on this here. So let's go to the top right. All right. And you may already, uh, you can see here, 5 million active installations. All right. So you can get a free license and, um, you know, absolutely is it worth it if you want some of the um, the extras. And then you go ahead and just kind of sign up. 
blah, 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 alerts, register, and then uh, from there, you will um, be able to cut and paste the license and just kind of get moving on that plugin. So why don't we go ahead and uh, just jump to uh, a few other things that I want to uh, speak about. One of them is um, no backup plan. Okay, I'm going to make that really the last but not least no backup. So if your site gets hacked, and I can assure you if you don't have some of these security implementations in place, even these, you know, these free plugins, they do work. Um, you're basically in trouble. All right, if that happens and you know you get hacked, you got no backup. So use a plugin like Updraft Plus, all right? And, and this is gonna allow you to create automatic backups to let's say Google Drive or Dropbox. Um, and really it gives you peace of mind, all right? So once again, Updraft Plus and um, you know, Let's go ahead and uh, jump to that. So, yeah. Right here, you could see how easy these are to really just, uh, you know, activate, download, and then uh, set this up. A lot of people just use the Google Drive, but I can assure you that you're going to find it to be a wonderful plugin. All right. And then there you go. It's going to have a little wizard that's going to pop up for the, uh, the Updraft Plus. And from there, you can go ahead and just uh, follow uh, the process pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. But really a wonderful solution for those who, who need a um, backup solution. And maybe they don't want to go ahead and uh, spend uh, more money on some of these, um, these uh, uh, services that are offered. By different hosting companies and usually it's an additional service sometimes um you know an extra ten dollars a month i mean why bother when you have other means to go ahead and get this accomplished so i'm going to end it here this is basically um you know the purpose of the video was just a short video just to kind of talk about some some key points of uh you know how to go ahead and secure your wordpress and i hope this helped please by all means if some of you have some ideas that um, you know you feel work for you and uh, help you secure your WordPress, please add them in the comments below, and uh, let's all work together so we can help our uh, WordPress websites become a lot more secure. So, just to reiterate, keep everything updated. Use strong passwords and 2FA. Avoid plugin overload. Install a security plugin and always have backups. Take care, everybody.